Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today is a quick one, 2014 Toyota Tundra and the hood trim. The trim piece on the hood uh, keeps popping up. If you have this uh, issue on yours, uh, check out this video. So here's the uh, trim. When you're driving down the freeway, the air gets underneath here, pops this trim out. You have to pop it back down in here with these little clips. Kind of a pain. All right, let's go ahead and pop the hood. All right. We have two screws, one right there, and one right here, 10 millimeter socket. We're looking at it from underneath, we still have these clips right here, right here. One over here as well. I have a pair of pliers. Just kind of give it a nudge. Same with this one. Gonna squeeze it and pop it out. There we go. It's off. Okay. All right. Looks like it's popping off. So there's actually a broken piece in here. So let me see if I can't capture this on video. That piece fell, like I suspected. Okay. So this is this is what we're looking at, a uh, piece that fell out. We have the trim front trim piece, and looks like it was right here in the front here. And probably has been damaged for a while, as there was no screw there to begin with. I did notice that these retainers for the clips, they're broken. As you can see, the, the plastic weld is, is slightly broken on that one. Um, this one, and, and, and on this one. So the three center ones, the, the, the plastic welds are, are, are broken. So these things are not completely broken off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repair these, but I'll first start by cleaning this plastic piece. Still a few water. Right down, get ourselves a paper towel, wipe this area down and clean. Finish it off with a hose, clean water. Now we'll do the other side too. I'm gonna go one step further. There is this plastic, this black plastic piece right here held in by uh, Phillips screws. I'm gonna take that off as well because I see a mounting position on the top here that uh, appears to be broken as well. All right, looks like there are six screws. And let's pull this piece off just like that. It's this off to the side. All right, so these are the ones. So I'm gonna put a little bit of JB Weld there, JB Weld there, and also down here. Let's see if we can see that. JB Weld down there, and JB Weld right there. All right, so this far end is good. The far end over here is good, so that's great. All right. So let's go ahead and prepare the JB Weld. Get yourself some tin foil or a nice clean surface. Get a couple of couple of toothpicks. Get yourself some JB Weld. In this case, I have a, a JB Weld that's kind of a double squirt bottle. You can also get it in these two little squirties. Anyways, uh, JB Weld comes in two parts: um, a darker color and a lighter color. And when they mix together, they start hardening. Get your toothpicks, Ugh. try not to get it on your fingers. Be in a well ventilated area. Mix these two together pretty good. This will turn into a, uh, a darker gray color. And once you start mixing these two together, chemical hardening process. 
All right. Now let's go ahead and apply this to the areas. Let's go ahead and lift this up. Apply the JB well down there. And then let it spring back down. Get myself some more JB Weld on these toothpicks here. Lift it. Yeah. Same thing down here. Okay, and then finally, all right, so I did the same on the last piece, the middle piece, and the other side. Go ahead and let this cure overnight. So although we're gonna let this cure overnight, I'm gonna put this black piece on, this piece that we took off here. It has been over 24 hours, and it appears our JB Weld has cured. at this final piece yeah. all right I'm also going to switch over to a ribbed style clip keep these on the front side but on the top side I will switch over to a ribbed style nine millimeter size to, to replace the original so looking closely i had purchased this uh, uh trim kit it's actually extra clips you can buy your clips for the plastic pieces that fit on your vehicle i'll put a link in below appears as if there is this clip right here that fits a nine millimeter hole size pre-tested these on the holes on the truck and this size seems like it would work out well Give this a shot. 